another struggling day for the market. Uh, look one time like it was going to break after the Fed uh, meeting. But what I thought was looking like on the chart for another down day actually did finally happen at, toward the end, but it was very hard to, to predict and read. We'll just have to go forward with what we got. Let's take a look at the spy chart and then the rest of the alerts. Okay, we opened slightly under the 50 day this morning and uh, before the end of the day we were able to advance and then big sell off later on in the day. We'll pull this in on a uh, shorter time frame. Here's our morning open, uh, ran up chopped sideways all day waiting on the Fed meeting. Fed meeting came out, we had this big run up which we were able to pick out some symbols and were sitting on ready uh, to see what was going to happen there and was able to capitalize on this move on four or five trades simultaneously and then a couple I was watching for shorts that uh, obviously didn't trigger. I had orders in when this went up as this started back down. They triggered so I ended up getting some pretty decent to back to the downside. The uh, another turmoil in the market, I guess we just call it. We did get back on top of this trend line where we ended the day yesterday. We're a little bit lower, still riding the top of this. So as long as we can stay here, I think it's going to keep us from just plunging down. But I wouldn't be surprised uh, if we don't head right back up off this reaction to the Fed statements and go on up and continue this move. If we gap down here and we don't come right back through that, we're probably going to make some lower lows. Just keep kind of watching it and, and figure it out as the days go by. So a lot of trades are uh, nothing setting up for really for swing trades. I cautioned yesterday on the bull zone alerts about the stocks that probably can't continue up. We're going to see what they did. And we'll get started going through those charts here. start on our weeklies get everybody get a look at what we got then we'll do the three minute tutorial and then go through the charts themselves that's your weekly bear zone alerts these are your trigger prices this is the profit since the trigger price so this one's down 143 dollar 24 down today so this has been on here more than one day and it was on here yesterday it's your bull break Got one stock for the week. Daily bear break, only one stock for the day. And a bull break, very short list as well. And like we said a few weeks ago, when you get this big a move in the market, it's uh, several weeks before the of basing and consolidation before these bull and bear breaks start to show up. And that's when they're most effective when you're coming out of the base. Look at that tutorial and we'll move right on. This is a mini tutorial on what the lines mean on my charts if you're a first time viewer or been a while since you viewed. We're scanning on weekly and daily charts for my condition when this green line is up is my bull zone and when the red line is up is my bear zone you need to be aware of support and resistance lines and act what charts do at levels and that's what these levels are for just quickly as I can do this and we're gonna put a video on YouTube getting more from your swing trading charts that'll be more detailed and look at more stocks how they react to these lines but the gist of what you see here is this is what I'm scanning for and as you can see here this showed up in the bear zone it did go down for a few days but these green lines are support and that's why it fought for a few days tried to bounce back up headed back down again came right back into the bull zone a bear zone excuse me and continued on down. Now 
the lines, here's what they represent. A green line is a place that a stock went up to and rejected. So as this green line redrew itself every time we made highs right here and then it stayed across here for reference points, continues the same line here for reference points. Resistance, when you get above it, becomes support. This green line was drawn way back in the history and when this stock broke above this resistance level, when it came back down, it held it, it held it, it held it, it tested it and held it, held it again and again. That was support. That's why I want you to be aware of what these lines mean. You'll see them on my charts. And then the activity that stocks do, sometimes they go, that's my first target, that's my second target. Many times stocks go target one, pull back a little, target two, then they may pull all the way back to one and go again if they're continuing an uptrend. In this case, it did the pull back. This blue line is a 50 period moving average. This orange line is a 200. So that's what I want you to be aware of as well. And then I have a pivot system that consists of this blue line at the top, yellow line at the bottom, and my target one and target two. You'll see this particular day this stock gap down, huge gap down, open way down here. The low on the stock was 169.68. I'm getting that right out of this box over here. And the value of that yellow line was 169.67. Within one cent, it held that line and bounced that day for a huge bounce. It's not a support level, but it's where I look for stocks to try to hold. It's where I look if I'm short, say from here, this is where I'm looking to get out. I'm looking to move two levels, target one, target two, going up, target one, target two. The pink lines all represent places the stock has gone down to and bounced. This pink line is referencing this last pivot low. So as you're selling down into it, it may bounce again. If you get below it, then it becomes resistance. And that's all these lines mean. I just want you to know what they mean going forward. Thanks for watching the video. Let's get started. Through time, I've got several comments and emails from viewers that don't subscribe to our services, but do watch our videos and basically say, hey man, I'm getting some good trades off your videos. I wish there's a way I could contribute and I don't want to sign up for a membership. So I finally went and made a donation button and find it two places on any video we're including at the bottom. You just click the show more button and shortly down there you'll see support our channel a donation through PayPal. You can click right here, pay through a, or make a donation through PayPal. Any amount you want to put in there is, is acceptable and appreciated. And then on our website, you can go to daytradersetups.com, press the YouTube uh, menu item, it'll take you to this page, and there's a donate button there as well. And we appreciate that, appreciate the suggestion, and uh, thank you ahead of time for any donations sent. We appreciate it a lot. Okay, weekly bears, we're going to try to move along pretty quick. Uh, just a continuation on this stock, second day in, ARE, uh, first day back in here to the weekly bear, really not a great consolidation breakout, trying to look at the consolidation, give a little comment on that, same thing here, chopping around down here near this support lines that it uh, needs to hold. And again, one of the reasons we go through these is we want you to see if it's coming back in for the second time, if it's already been in the big zone, and because we don't want to chase things. And they do create, you can see this one in a bear zone way up here. And as they work their way down, the bear zone moves down. So when you get the next consolidation, you pick up a new alert. So there's a reason for that, but we just don't want you to the first break is the one we were looking for out of the consolidation. Two 
two inside weeks here so far on that one. Inside, inside again. Here's your support line. We're holding that right here so far. First day on the list uh, this week. Two inside bars on a, this a weekly, remember. Second day on the list. This stock is struggling here to hold the 200 week. Looks like it's trying to lose it. A uh, rider a little more down still on the week. Uh, kind of engulfing little day here on rider. And kind of looks like the market candle. Looks lower. They had earnings a couple days ago, I think. Uh, this was earnings today. And uh, gap down this morning into this bear zone alert. They get back on a weekly. First week here, this is not really consolidation, but it does indicate that it might be headed a good bit lower. And our weekly bull, we only have one is T dot. Just breaking up into this area. Kind of a consolidation period, definitely making new highs. We'll take a look at the dailies and uh, really the recaps from yesterday and the days before toward the end is going to probably be the most interesting thing to look at as this market continues to chop sideways. While you're here, be sure to subscribe to our channel and follow us on Twitter or Stock Twits at Day Trader Setups. And our website is DayTraderSetups.com and SwingTraderSetups.com. Don't forget this video is being brought to you by our premium alerts at SwingTraderSetups.com. They're real-time alerts. They're posted on our website. And we're looking at our bull zone weekly and day, uh, daily breakouts and our bear zone weekly and daily breakouts that are in one category on the website. And there are other categories that are more aggressive for the more active trader as well. And by having a subscription to that service, you get all these alerts intraday as they happen. And one subscription gets you access to everything. As well as our chart system, if you would like to get it, I can set you up a couple of different ways to have the green and pink lines available for your charts as you review. Let's go forward. It'll be a pretty short video. This is your daily bear break on uh, Camel Soup. This is a revisit, but not a lot. Not like it's ran a long way. It just chopped around here, coming out of this consolidation. And this is actually in the weekly bear zone as well. Uh, definitely looks lower. The bull breaks today. Uh, I'll get on the daily chart. I need to go back to that last one. I might have had you on the wrong chart. Make sure. Daily candle. We were on the weekly candle on Campbell's. Daily candle. Big hard sell off today. Into the bear zone. Making new lows. Next support's a good way down on this weekly chart. Down in this $38 and 30 cent range and then even lower. AGO, uh, same place it kind of triggered here earlier. Not really breaking out of a consolidation but it has had a pretty strong upswing here and it has maintained my momentum indicator even in the chop. So this could definitely be setting up some more upside. Domino's, this was a flip off of earnings I think a couple of days ago. And first day into the bull zone today, all yesterday it was building momentum for the last three days. 
lots of range yesterday off those earnings broke out those old highs and uh, an accelerant here domino is not something trying to day trade it's really hard to trade sometimes when it's not around earnings season and not so erratic you can pick up some good little ups and downs and pick up some ways to get in but when you got it around earnings and all these market conditions makes it really hard it trades a little bit thin sometimes or at times during the day it'll hit a little thin patch when they're trying to bull bear fight it and you can get some real big spread so we don't trade that very often at all getting a little momentum on this one even though it's, it's more this base that it just kind of got taken out of with the market and then T-Dot we looked at a few minutes ago that's all these stocks we're going to bring the recap in here and wrap this up we're looking at the recaps on the uh, bulls first because the bears may be more interesting remember the purpose of looking at the recaps is to allow you to see the full list going back five days today, yesterday, day prior, four day, three days ago, four days ago. Also to see if they're still maintaining our momentum indicator and this is a little strength indicator we call it stability that the low has not been low enough to lose this strength. It's a little proprietary indicator we've been using for a long time and then as the stock goes up, the bull zone continues to calculate higher. And is it maintaining the bull zone level even at the new levels? So like this stock here, it actually crossed the bull zone yesterday on this candle. But the original alert was back here. This is why we show you the video so you can see where the actually we we first call this breakout right here so this was like back on the seventh and this stock is advanced from the day we posted it the close was 64.63 and now it's up to 71 dollars and you can see from this stock we were coming out of consolidation period this is what we talk about finding those best trades and it's still maintaining all levels of the strength and it, it yesterday it had lost the stability part and it actually gained that back today. That's this little second solid green bar that we measure by. So this continues to build strength and that's what this is for. You can see the ones we had two days ago that they're continuing to, to, to be in the state to continue upward. Uh, and that they still got the strength part of the indicator gives you a recap to go back and look and see what's still progressing the index for example been on here four days the original breakout here just continues to grind up higher and maintains itself you are coming into weekly resistance if you haven't been in that one RHT uh, continues we broke it here that's a ten dollar move on that stock even with today's pullback and to remind you this is the level we broke it at four days ago that was the level of the bull zone at the time so that was way down uh, whoa, way way down here right in here 13503 so you can see how the bull zone now is way up here so it advances so we're still maintaining above the bull zone line as well as gives you the profit end of the day based on today's close and the original breakout price so this stocks moved eight dollars and 39 cents from our original alert that we had intraday on our website as well as we showed it that night in the recap video and this continues to be strong as well you got one little symbol you can't see down on the bottom here gives you a look at all these you can just pause the video look up your own on your own charts these stocks that's what this last little parts all about we're gonna look at the bears now same thing today yesterday day before are they maintaining their strength down the P&L from the uh, area 
have the alert like this stock here bounced. It went into bear zone yesterday, but it bounced today, so it's now back above where we uh, had it on the daily bear at. This is your weekly over here to your left, current week. So not a lot of stocks on here yet. We'll give you a chance to look those up, see where they stand. Thanks for watching our video. Subscribe to our channel. Follow us on Twitter. Come over and check out our website.